They brought back syphilis. What? When Columbus returned from the New World, he brought something truly horrific, and Europe was never the same. In 1493, when Columbus's crew returned from their voyage to the Americas, they brought back more than just like gold and exotic spices. They brought back syphilis, a nice little parting gift from the New World. It was as if the Americas were saying, thanks for the smallpox, here's some syphilis. The first recorded outbreak occurred in Naples, Italy, where it was swiftly dubbed the French disease. Why not blame the French? The symptoms were horrific. Infected individuals developed painful flesh-eating sores on the outside, while on the inside, your bones and tissue rotted away as the disease wreaked havoc on your brain and your nervous system. The so-called treatments were often worse than the disease itself. Mercury was often added to ointments and applied all over the body, and it's believed more people actually died from mercury poisoning than from the disease it intended to cure. No one was immune. It ravaged kings and nobles and commoners alike. The disease is believed to have killed tens of millions over the centuries until the 1940s and the discovery of penicillin. Syphilis's brutal impact reshaped European society, leaving a legacy of fear and caution in its wake. Follow along for more.